Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. What's going on, guys? We're back with another episode of Franchise Mode. We have some exciting stuff to talk about today. But before we do, we're going to play a little bit of home run derby at, derby at Dodger Stadium. And uh, let's see. I wouldn't even have anyone hitting in it. I thought we were going to have somebody hitting in it. I don't want to hit with any of these bums. Jeez Louise, you invite me to the home run derby and then say, hey, guess what? Nobody from the Padres is here. How is no one from the Padres here? Our team is freaking ridiculous. You know what? Screw you guys. We're not playing. We're simming. Well, auto fix it. Oh, Jeff McNeil. Ha ha, that's one of my surprises, guys. Okay, place him on the bench. Ooh, uh, auto utilize him. One of your user controlled teams has all star players. Would you like to stop simulating? Yes, I want to play this game. Okay. All right, so we've got a couple of, uh, hey, there's one of my trades right there that I made. Oh, guys, uh-oh, here's another one of my trades that I just made right here. I know it looks weird with Judge and Marte and Giles, but I've got Acuna Jr. Uh, we're going to, oh, I also, I traded uh, Chapman. I had him too. And, uh, oh, listen, guys, I had, <laughs> yeah, Machado, see you later, Machado. I know, it look, it's very confusing, very, very confusing, guys. I'll explain it all in a minute, okay? Who are we going to be here? Uh, let's see. Okay. Guys. Play the game. I don't... Oh, there we go. NL. I was going to say, I don't want to be the AL. I want to be the NL. We could be Yelich. Or Cole. I'm not going to be Cole today. Let's... Uh... Be yellow since he's our guy. Okay. All right, guys. So while we're breaking here, I got Acuna Jr. Okay. It took a long time to trade for him. Here's the thing. The salaries didn't match up. I couldn't do it. And so I had to keep trading guys to get lower and lower salaried guys that were still good. So I took Machado and I think I traded him for Judge and for Chapman. And then I took... Chapman, I traded him for like a couple of Devil Rays. Well, not Devil Rays. They're not the Devil Rays anymore, Matt. You're not 13 anymore. Trade him for some Rays, like Low, I think. I think that's how you say his name, and a couple other guys. And then I had to just keep doing it over and over and over again and trading guys. And eventually, basically what happened was I traded Acuna and I traded Marte, and I ended up getting back. Wait. Not Acuna. I traded Machado and Marte, and I got back Acuna Jr., Jeff McNeil, and um, I'm having a mental block. Young pitcher, young guy, a potential, was just a super high pick for the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Um, what was his name? Green? Hunter Green, I think it was. So that's what we did. It took a lot to get that trade done, though, guys. So for everyone that's been, like, yelling at me, like, Matt, you put an all-star game together, all-star team together, this is too easy. I have put an all-star team together. Like I said, I was going to in the first episode. I said, guys, we're going to win the World Series. Um, but it has not been easy. I've had to put a lot of time into making all of these trades. Didn't have to put trades together for Garrett Cole, though. Use the good old free agency. Look good in that national all-star jersey right there. Just like you look good in the Padres jersey, Christian. Uh, who's on the mound for them again? Carlos Carrasco. Here's an interesting thing about Carlos Carrasco. When he was younger, much younger, and I was with the Indians, he actually was uh, pitching in uh, on the AAA team in spring training with me. And he threw a no-hitter in spring training. And I was like, at the time he was young, and I didn't even know who he was. And I was like, 
damn, this Carlos Carrasco guy is going to be pretty freaking good. Like, why isn't he in the big leagues? And uh, he ended up going to big leagues that year, and he's uh, pretty freaking good, as it turns out. But I can vividly remember that guy. I was playing shortstop for some reason, and uh, I raked that day. We are playing at Dodgers, I think. I think I had like three or four hits, and then a few days later, I was told I was going on the Phantom DL. I don't get it. But anyways, he was filthy. Slider, four seam, change. This guy's got everything. Carrasco pauses. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, that's a cookie right there for me to hit. Man, I barreled it up nice. I pulled it foul. Doesn't count. Again. Barreled up another breaking ball right there. 103. The field is that way, Christian. That was a close one, guys. It just appears he really relishes the big spot. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's oh, my God. <laughs> that breaking ball is going to hit me in the kneecap. Sorry, Christian. Oh, they're bringing the lefty now. Who's in here? Blake Snell. Another filthy guy. Oh, just didn't slice away. Tried to stay on that breaking ball right there. Slider, I think it was. Not a great 1-0 pitch to swing at. But it's an all-star game, so what the hey. Swing away. Luis Severino. It's fun being an all-star, having to face all these freaking guys. Oh, baby, Christian. Ball's a little high. Looks just like Luis. How about this Yankee staff next year? We got Cole. We got Severino. Oh my golly jeepers, that changeup was screaming hit a homer. Like, I am so early on everything right now. The one two is looked at for ball number two. I literally should have like two homers already, and I'm just pulling everything foul. That should be a homer right there. Ball's tattooed. Ball's tattooed. Ball is tattooed. See you later. Throw me that 2 2 fastball right down the middle. I don't care if it's 97, Luis. It's a solo home run for Christian Yelich. And it's now a 5 2 game. See, that's a, that's a normal home run trot. Somebody show Matt from the road to the show that trot right there. I know that ball. I mean, you can't throw me a better pitch at home run. Oh, it's 99. I can get it. when you throw 99, usually you can throw it anywhere. But oh, Wilson Contreras pinch hitter, and I've been pulled from the game. Let's hit with. Uh... Sure, why not? Let's hit with Wilson. Who are we facing here? Chapman. Looks like Chapman. It's got to be Chapman. Yeah. Oh, that's a filthy changeup. Chapman is a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the park. It's a rare day that someone takes him deep, which obviously makes him a very valuable commodity in the bullpen. One of the things as a manager you want to do, you want to bring a reliever in and know that he can keep Oh boy. That ball's past me, guys. How fast is that? 101. <laughs> Get it started, Wilson. That ball's in the catcher's mitt. Oh, that was a filthy slider. You got no chance, buddy. No chance at all. Just so you guys know. So I put up a video. I don't know if you guys saw it up on it, YouTube. I was just joking around with the whole Astros cheating scandal. I did my Will Ferrell cowbell thing. And one of the videos was Chapman pitching. 
and um, somebody wrote like someone being a wise guy said uh, I don't know you might be watching this said yeah like they'd be sitting anything else why would you sit anything else against Chapman what are you gonna sit on a 70 mile per hour lob ball ha 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 and I said so you're telling me that knowing when a fastball's coming doesn't help when you're hitting Chapman because you're just going to sit on it anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. why. Wh how would it help you? Well, hello? How about right there? <laughs> he d Chapman doesn't throw 100% fastballs. And I think it's an advantage when you absolutely know a fastball's coming versus you're just hoping a fastball's coming. So please don't tell me, especially against Chapman. That's the guy I absolutely would, I, I want to know what, what pitch is coming there. So, sorry, I got upset. They were acting like it was no advantage because, oh, he throws hard, so obviously you're going to sit in a fastball. Please, people, stop telling me it's not an advantage to know what pitch is coming. If you feel like it's not an advantage at the major league level to know what pitch is coming, then there's two things. One, well, obviously, I would say 99.99% of people haven't played at the major leagues. But two, you must not have ever played baseball. You have to not have played baseball to not think at the major league level it's an advantage to know what pitch is coming. Sorry. That was a little bit of a rant. But I get upset when people say this to me. Matt, it's not a big deal. Uh, yes, it is a big deal. It's the biggest deal. You know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach high fastball. So he's probably not throwing that one again. Guys, after this that bad, I don't know why I'm still hitting. Who am I even hitting with? I don't even know who I'm hitting with. Suarez. Come on, throw me that one-on-one fastball. I'm going to turn this thing around on you, Chapman. Mm. Hit it 102. I hit it okay at 102? It seems pretty good to me, but... Like, why would I want to know what, what pitch is coming right there? So easy to hit Chapman. Okay, guys. We're just going to sim through this. Well, that was fun. It was fun to hit a homer with uh, with Yelich. Ah, oh, my man Garrett got the loss. I saw today an interesting stat. Since the decade has, well, now it's almost over. Um, Xander Bogarts leads shortstops in uh, least amount of defensive runs saved. Interesting stat. Okay. Now, guys, let's uh, let's show you this real quick. Look at my lineup now. All right, here's my lineup now. We got Tatis. We got Jeff McNeil. Jeff's raking this year, 387 with eight. We got Yelich. We've got Acuna. We've got Devers, Meadows. Uh, this isn't a real line because we never use the DH right here. Meadows, Muncy, Hedges, and Cole. All right, so the next guy to go is probably Hedges for Garver. And at that point, I mean, I'm pretty much set to make a World Series run, I think. I could potentially, I mean, the only other spots I could upgrade, I'm not going to upgrade Meadows. The only other spot I could upgrade is... Uh, is Muncy or McNeil. I like McNeil. It would probably be Muncy. I'd probably like to keep Muncy on the bench, although I don't know if I could upgrade him. You know, he's not a great defender. McNeil could go to second. I got him playing third right now because, well, neither of these guys are great defenders, I don't believe. Fielding, 70. Fielding, 66. Yeah, so neither of them are great. Wow, Yelich is only a 68 fielding. I'm surprised that Cooney is only a 75. Dever 66. Meadows a 45. Holy God, are we the worst defensive team in the league? Oh, I also um I also signed Oscar Hernandez. He was a free agent catcher, 26 years old, I think. So I signed him. What the hell is Trammel doing up here? What the hell? The freaking computer's messing with things again. I don't want him up here. Let this guy play down in the minors. Oh, boy, guys. Oh, there are my ranks. First first in contact, fourth in power, first in pitching, 19th in defense. Yeah, not great defense. All right. Let's play, guys. No more. Yes. Uh, no, I don't care about the AAA All-Star game. Whoop-de-doo. 
Athletics acquire Martinez. Wow. Interesting deal right there. Yeah, auto fix it. No one cares. You guys know who we're... You gotta know who we're player locking on today. Oh, play, facing Trevor Bauer. So let me know, guys, what you think I should... Uh, the Garver thing is going to happen. I'm going to make that deal. Then you got to let me know, do we go with this lineup right here, this team, for the playoff push? I probably would like to do a little bit more in the bullpen, but as far as lineup goes, do I go with that lineup? Do I trade away Muncie or McNeil? I don't think I'm going to trade McNeil. I mean, a second baseman is hitting 387. i I'll take it. And Muncie's been great, too. He's been fine. I don't even know who I would get to upgrade there. Well, I would too. He's the greatest player to frickin' ever live. Imagine if the Padres rolled into a stadium with this team right here. This is ridiculous. Bauer likes his four seam. I'll tell you what, I faced Bauer. <laughs> Somebody replay that right there. Guys. I want a replay. I want a replay. Oh, wow. wow, we're pretty close. What can I can I not go over here a little bit, guys? I can't get an angle. Can't get an angle, so we can't replay. Okay, that's a great angle. Look at this foot. Is that on the base, guys? It's so close. Oh my god, I can't tell, guys. Safe. I still call him safe. I still call him safe. So I faced Trevor Bauer, I think, I was teammates with him for a little bit in AAA with the Indians, but I faced him a couple of times. Got a single off my first time. Maybe I only faced him once. I got a single. But he had like 52 pitches. It was the weirdest thing ever. Here comes the first pitch. I remember I fouled, I kept fouling balls off, then I finally hit a single in the middle, but I felt like I fouled seven balls off, and I feel like there were seven different pitches. One ball would go up and then down, left and right, and kind of left, and then kind of right, and fast and slow, and it was crazy. What's the count? Three and now? Don't! In the air out to center field. Irvin is there. One out. How'd I miss that, guys? How'd I miss that? That was a cookie 3-0 pitch that I was sitting on right there. Okay, here's how the Reds are lining up in this. Striding into the box. The <sighs> oh, shoot, I forgot I got to play the outfield. I'm the worst outfielder in this game ever. Hit in the air out to center field. I got it. Acuna's there for it, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. Oh my God! Look where that pitch was, guys. Yeah, I was a little under. That's why I was a little bit under it. Hey yo! Acuna's going. Who the hell is controlling me right now? This guy stinks. Just a little bit excited with a new team, trying to impress. I can't. I, I understand it. I get it. Again, what are these umpires doing? Look at this guy. He freaking calls foul ball when the ball's not even hitting the ground yet. Like, how do you know? You're pointing foul ball. I mean, I know it's foul. Let the ball land first, will you please? Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. 
Not competitive right there. Nah, it's a tough pitch. Oh! All right, let's go, Devers. Oh, we got nobody out. Beautiful. Got to be back in a line here. Can't get doubled off on a line right now. Can't kill the rat. The uh, back. That's what I'm talking about right there. You got to make sure you don't get doubled off on a line right there. Seen that happen before. All of a sudden, you got bases loaded, nobody out. Next thing you know, you got freaking two outs and no runs in. Same thing. Back in a line here. So not get doubled off. Take him out. God, they got out of it, guys. We got a score there. Bases loaded, nobody out. I got it. Come on, guys. We got to score some runs for Garrett. Stepping up now, Ronald Acuna. We're down 2 nothing, guys. What are we doing? Bauer's still in the game. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, man. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strikes on it all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally. What are we doing? Maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. Pitch on the way. And that's eight strikeouts. I want to Gronk spike this controller right now. Oh boy, we came back. That a baby, fellas. I'm happy again. Happy Matt's back. Come on, we need some insurance right now. Let's go. Guys, what is going on? I can't hit again. This guy's got a funky arm action. Slow the game down, Matt. Slow the game down. Yeah. Yeah. Find the ball halfway, halfway. Oh, rough start for Acuna. Sorry, man. I apologize. Forgot the victory, though. Atta baby. Wow, Batanzas came in and struck out all three guys. All right. Look at Batanzas. 29 saves. I mean, I was going to trade that guy, but he might help us win a World Series. All right, let's sim a couple of games. Add a baby. Look at Bueller. 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 Oh, look at Nola. Hmm. Flaherty's two and nine with a three. Can someone please like be his friend and score some runs for? Guys, we're playing the Diamondbacks. They're thirty-six and sixty. God. Okay, guys, this is not good. Devers, fractured foot. I'll be back for the playoffs. Hmm. I mean, I got to put him on the 60 day. I can't put him on, I'm not going to put him on the 10 day for a one to two month injury. Keep him active, just kidding. Oh, God. Okay, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold your horses. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting out in the NL West. We have no one that can play first. I don't want any of these guys playing. As the Nationals took care of the Padres, 11 to 9. 
The Braves finished off a three-game sweep as they got All right, guys. Let's see where the free agent first baseman are. Mitch Moreland. I mean, he's okay. I could do a lot better in trade, so. Oh, man, that hurts right there. Wow, Baez is a free agent. Bryant's a free agent. Freaking my boy Kirby Yates is a free agent. Lindor is a free agent. I need to clear up some cap. There's no cap. I got to clear up some budget space because I need to sign a lot of these guys in free agency. Okay. All right. Let's get our stuff together here. Who are we going to trade for to fill in at first base? I mean, technically... Yeah, I got it. Technically, we could probably play... Or we could call Naylor up. He's a 73. He's hitting 194. Sorry, Naylor. Um, I could play Muncie over there. Or I could play McNeil. So I, I, I just got to trade for somebody. I can trade for a third baseman, a second baseman, or a first baseman. Who that's going to be, I don't know. It's not going to be any of these young guys. So I'll go out and figure that out. For right now, let's just put... Um, let's put Muncie at first for right now. And let's put... Probably Forsyth, I would say, right? Put Forsyth at second. Let's do that. So let's play there and then Forsyth. I'm just going to keep Forsyth hitting right there for now. So I don't have to change everything up. And what we're going to do, guys, is uh, for right now, let's just play. Let's play one more game. And then I've got to reevaluate because I, I need to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Put in the comment section below what you guys think I should do, who I should pick up. But let's just play a game. And let's play our lock as, uh, let's play our lock as McNeil. Check out all our new guys. Man. I just don't know what I want to do. If I'm going to trade for someone, I should probably trade for somebody. Well, a couple things. One, it's going to be a multi-year guy so I can have him for next year. It's going to be a cheap player because I need to be able to keep a lot of budget for my free agents. But it should be someone probably versatile that can move around, not someone that can just play first. Because when Devers comes back, he's going to be on the line. He's going to be on the team, and I'm going to want to have to play him probably somewhere. All right, double play Depp right here. Two. Big double play right there, fellas. That's huge. Look at those numbers right there. All right, left on left. PCI is huge when you're hitting 400. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in. No wonder my back hurts. You see how tense my traps are right here, guys? I'm like so tense. Relax, Matt. Jeez, it's not the World Series. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. So guys, these Nationals as they interplay here tonight, they've been playing some pretty good baseball. Ah, oh, throw the ball to the plate, and Mr. Umpire, sir, we don't need three freaking safe calls. Guys, trying to fly away. These are nice jerseys right here, guys. Team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. The 1-0. 
There's a fight at the bat rack for who? It's nothing, nothing in the first, and it's Patrick Corbin on the mound. He's pretty good. When he's got wheels on first base, he's probably getting a fastball, and he's probably getting it middle away. Might be a great time to get super aggressive. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Tatis aboard here at first. I'm taking here, automatic. Whoop. Automatic take here, guys. I got Acuna hitting behind me. And he misses there. There we go. Come on, Acuna. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. It was a hey, Hosmer, what's going on, buddy? Remember you? Junior. A swing and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule. Infield fly. Time now to check the hometown Padres. We traded for this guy anyway. Any thoughts? You know, I think everyone should keep an eye on Christian Yelich. Hey, look at this lineup, guys. Take him out, Jeff. Damn, we didn't get anything. All right, here we go. First and second. Do I bunt them over? No. What are we doing? It's getting a little bit overexcited. Wow, Glaber Torres, 22 homers down there. I'm going to have to trade for him. I tried to already, guys. I couldn't get him. Good set of peepers, Jeff. Corbin frickin' throw something in here, please. It's a good pitch right there. Ah, uh, that'll work as good as a bunt. Run! Run, Jeff! Run! Okay. It's a productive out right there. That's what I'm talking about. Acuna had to have come through. Maybe a three-run homer for him. Ah, hit it hard right to him. Didn't really hit it hard, but... Ah, <sighs> damn. One, two. Let's back up a little bit. Get a little bit of depth. Oh, that's why. Oh, here comes Lara. Really? Yes, I can. I'll be off right now. My last at bat. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0 1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence. Stand, 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 stand up, stand up, stand up. Get him something over the heart. Yep, that ball hit him real hard. He's chalked the board up and down. Oh, he's pumped up right there. All right, guys, I got to uh, gotta get out of this game. Simulate an exit. Number 13. We won. Terrific. All right, exit the post game. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, I got to take off. My daughter is not feeling well. She's a little under the weather. So um, let me know who you guys think I should trade for, and we'll talk to you later.